Uh, I'm Anita Tab. I'm with the Minneapolis Park Board, and I would certainly agree with Dave's observations. Um, I do want to get back to the flow over the falls because I'm not sure I still understand what it is that you're saying. And it is very scary to me because, again, that is, I think, um, the aesthetics of the falls does make a difference. We do care about that. We're in downtown Minneapolis. Um, and as far as hydropower is concerned, there's been a lot more hydropower on that river at that spot um, over the last several years. Brookfield has, um, hydro, uh, has turbines at the bottom of the falls. Excel has upgraded its turbines as well. So we know that, that in fact, it, this is not going unused. Um, but there are other things on the river as well. What is your commitment to having minimum flow over the falls at all times? How much and when? Our commitment right now is to abide by the terms of the FERC license. FERC license um, Article 404 addresses flowage. That flowage um, uh, allows Crown Hydro to uh, utilize what water it needs through the periods of December 15th. Uh, I'm looking for it now. March 15th, and then certain other periods uh, of the year at night time, it allows it to dry up the falls. Um, What's considered nighttime? That's not defined within the license. Well, that it's doesn't not. give me any warm and fuzzy feeling. Um, so that's very concerning to me. And according to your own, rep own report, the Oliver and Emmons report, if you look back over the history of the flow over that falls, it's very concerning that we could have a dry falls during the summer period. We've also, um, specifically the park board and the city have both passed resolutions saying that there's a, there should be a minimum flow of falls, I believe it's 2000 CFS. Um, and, and that's been for years and years since the inception of this project, since the very inception of this project. So that's, that's something that not the park board has concern about, but that the city council as well has concern about. We understand the economic value of what we what it is that we have downtown. And these people don't live down there for nothing. Um, the other thing that I would like to say is, um, I have to say, having this meeting on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving is unbelievable to me. I think it's yeah. I think it's disingenuous. I, I you know to expect that. at the most inconvenient time, it feels, it, it feels like the rest of the project feels. So if you feel anger out in the audience, that is why you feel it, is you're doing things exactly like this. So again, that's just a comment, but I would say, you know, take heed. Um, and the, uh, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, talk about it. And I think that's about it. So uh, again, I just, you know, you're not making any friends and influence.